Payday 2 might have been out now for over seven years, but there are a few questions that I get asked quite a lot by people who watch my videos and live streams, and one of the most prevalent ones is how do you actually download mods for Payday 2 on PC. It's a question I still get a lot during live streams, especially when I've been making some more mods myself more recently. Not a lot, but I've been trying to dabble in the whole world of mod creation, even though I'm not particularly good at it. But when I've been showing off some of the mods that I've made in live streams, etc., I still get a lot of questions saying, okay, I want to download this, but I don't know how to. So in this video, I'm going to take you through how to download mods for Payday 2 in 2020. It's a nice, simple walkthrough. It should be very easy to follow and understand. So without any further ado, my name is Red Live. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's Payday 2 video, I'm going to teach you how to download mods for Payday in 2020. Roll the intro. So before we can download any mods for Payday 2, there are a couple of things we need to download and install. Some very, very simple things, but I'll talk you through them nonetheless. Our two focuses are first off a modding hook called Super BLT, and then second off a modding package called Beardlib. Both of these are very easy, but let's first look at Super BLT. Now the links to all the sites you need will be in the description of this video. Because you're doing this for Payday 2 on PC, hopefully you're watching this on a PC anyway. If you're not, head on over to a PC, get the links copied, get over there, get the downloads that you need. Really, really simple, but everything will be there ready for you to get over to these sites. So, first off on Super BLT's website, you need to download two things from this installation section. First off, you need to download and install this redistributable package. It's a one-time download, so if at any point you uninstall Super BLT and reinstall it, you won't need to do this step. This is just a one-time thing. Do it, sorted for good on your device. Click download on it, get it downloading, get it installing. I'm gonna click on it here to show you, obviously, the program will then open up and you'll install it. I'm not going to show you that because I've already done it and I don't need to do it again, but it's a very simple thing. Just hit install, done, easy. And then second off, you need to download this latest release DLL. It's a single file contained within a zipped folder. If you download it and then if we head over and open up my file explorer, you can see that we've got it downloaded here and all we've got to do is extract these files. Nice and easy and done. So, we go in here and here is the WSOC32 file that we need to put in our game directory. In order to do this, we just have to either copy or cut the file, whichever one suits you, doesn't really matter. Head on over to your Payday 2 game directory. I've got some little quick access things here to make it easy to show you. You're going to follow the file directory of your PC to whichever hard drive you use. A lot of people, it's their C drive. For me on this laptop, my D drive is the biggest drive, so then we'll put it in there. Then you go into your Steam library, your Steam apps, common, Payday 2. So just to take you through it, Steam library... Steam apps, common, payday 2. Nice and simple. And then you just paste the DLL file here. And you should see, alongside all these other things, you've got WSOC32.DLL. And that's Super BLT installed. Nice and simple. Before we move on to downloading Beardlib, though, I just want to check that you've got a few folders installed. These are very important things you're going to need for mods, so let's just go through them very quickly. And we're going to be looking at the assets, maps, and mods folders. Now, not all of these will be here natively, and if they aren't, make sure you create the folders that you can't see on your computer that you can see on my screen now. I'm almost completely confident that you need to spell it in the exact same way with the same lowercase letters, so don't change anything. Make it exactly the same as you see on screen. First off, in your assets folder, you're going to need a folder called mod override. So these files will all be here in your game extension anyway, but this one is what you need to create, a folder called mod underscore override. Spell it exactly like that and put it in your assets. This is where most of your mods are probably going to go. Head back over to Payday 2 in your file directory and you then need to check that you've got the mods folder installed. This one's really important. This is not used as much, at least not for me, but it contains the key mods, so the ones that actually change core features about the game. So if in the past you've seen things such as Big Lobby or the third person mod, those are ones that change core game features and they'll go in there. And then thirdly, if you plan to download any custom heists or custom maps for Payday 2, you need to have a maps folder capital m and that's where you'll put all of your heists as you can see i've got a bunch installed already and that's where they would all go if you're playing any extra maps once you've got those three files installed we then need to head back onto our google chrome site and go over to beardlib which is a mod on mod workshop now mod workshop is the best place you can go to get payday mods it's a fantastic site and almost every single payday 2 mod that's ever been created is available on this site so whenever you download mods for payday 2 this is the place to go. I'll take you through how to use it a little bit more in a minute, but first off, let's look at Beardlib. Again, a link to this directly will be in the description. This is what you need to download most of the mods you're going to be playing on Payday 2. If you don't have this installed, a lot of your mods are not going to work. So you need to head over to download and get Beardlib downloading. And it's the exact same thing as before. You'll take it over to your downloads. And if we just open up my window capture once again, 
you can see that in my downloads folder, we've now got Beardlib. So we do the same thing again. We're going to extract this folder here. Okay, and now we've got our unpacked Beardlib folder. So we click inside that, and it's this folder we want to copy. So don't just copy the outside one with the numbers. Go inside and copy this folder, okay? After that, you need to go back to your file directory. Again, I'm using one of my shortcuts. I really recommend pinning some of these to your quick access if you need to. Just to make things a bit easier, honestly. So if you want to do that on Windows, just right click and click pin to quick access. Because it means I can get to these folders much easier, that kind of thing. So in the mods folder this time, we need to go into mods in the directory. We need to paste Beardlib. And there we go. Beardlib has been installed into Payday 2. So now a lot of the mods we download are going to work. Nice and simple. Now, I've not gotten any actual mods installed here. I took them out because I was suffering from some issues that I've been trying to fix. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in one mod here to show you how it's going to work. Okay, so the mod we're going to download for this example is Menu Backgrounds. We'll stick to the theme of me making the TARDIS mod and I'll show you how to install that nice and simply. So first off, we're going to download the Menu Backgrounds mod. If you want any Menu Backgrounds, you need this base file first and then download the Menu Background that you want. So we're going to download this base file, nice and simple. We're going to go into our game directory. So we open up our downloads once again and we'll see that installed now in our downloads, we've got the Menu Backgrounds folder. Once again, just extract this in, into your downloads and then we'll copy the files over. So now I've extracted it, we go inside once again and copy this file. I'm going to cut it this time just to mix things up and be a bit exciting. I know how entertaining of me. And we're going to paste the folder here next to Beardlib in the mods folder of Payday 2. Again, remember my rule, if it's changing an actual piece of the game's like working, so what you see on the screen in the background, like the actual moving things, etc., it goes in the mods. Most of the mods on Mod Workshop will actually tell you whether it goes in mods or mod overrides, but sometimes they don't, and so you do have to use common sense. And even then, if you put it in one of the folders and doesn't work, just put it in the other one and chances are it'll work. So if you put something in mods and you don't see the mod appearing in your game, then switch it to mod overrides, it'll work and vice versa. So now we've got menu backgrounds installed and within here, you've got the assets folder. This contains some very basic menu backgrounds you can use. There's a few included here. And if you download any extra ones, they will also go in this folder. So just to plug my mod a little bit because I'm a bit self-indulgent like that. Okay, no, I'm joking. But seriously, I will just show you how to install a menu background and then we can get in game and show you the mods working. So if we go over to the TARDIS menu background that I made, it would help if I could spell. We go over, click on the mod, and then you need to also download this. Now, for this one, it's a big file, and sometimes you will get this. You'll find that some mods are too big to actually be downloaded directly off Mod Workshop, and they will take you to a link elsewhere, and you have to download it there, okay? So here, we're going to download the Doctor Who mod on this site. Now, this one's a big file, so it will take a while, and before it does download it, I just want to say very quickly that actually one thing you might benefit from using when you're downloading mods is using 7-Zip. It's a program you'll need in order to unpack files like this, where as you can see, there's just a white piece of paper on the icon for where it's downloading, because you can't just extract it the way you normally would need to. So, a link to download 7-Zip will be in the description. Get that program installed, and then you'll be able to download and unpack folders like this for future mods because trust me you will need them that'll fit to any files you download of the dot 7z or dot rar extension so if you download a mod that's got that white page icon and it's either dot 7z or dot rar 7zip will help you unpack it there are other ones you can use other than 7zip but that's the one i use so it's the one i'm going to recommend you'll just need to head over to the link in the description that i've left and then download it for either your 32-bit or 64-bit windows system get it downloaded, get it installed, sorted nice and easy from there. Okay, so now I've downloaded that file, all I have to do is right click and say 7-zip extract here. And as you can see, nice and easily the folder has copied and all the contents are within it. So we just need to copy this folder here. I'm going to cut it because it's quite a big folder. I don't want it in two places at once. Go into menu backgrounds, go into assets and then paste the folder here. And then it will copy over and you've got another menu background you can use. Now, once you actually start Payday 2, once you've done all this, you will get a prompt to install the Super BLT base mod. Once you've downloaded that base mod, it will then prompt you to restart Payday 2 again. So just boot up the game. And after that, the game will launch with all the modding software installed and ready to go. Okay, once you've loaded into Payday 2, you should see that you've already got a menu background up. All you need to do is go to options and then mod options, which is a new thing you should have now once you've installed your mods. Go into menu backgrounds and change the menu background depending on what you'd like. So as you can see, the one we downloaded specifically, the Doctor Who one, is ready here to go. And if there are any screens in particular where you don't want them to use what's in the mod, you just have to uncheck these specific boxes and go from there. So you can get used to having a look and testing out what works for you. Any other mods you put in the mods folder will also appear with options here if they have options. And if you need to check if any of them need updating, 
go into this menu here and you can go into download manager and it will tell you if anything needs updating but you can also see that from the main menu too so it will tell you here if you need to update any of your mods if you do update them immediately do not wait it's very important because the mods are not official game content it's vital that you update them as soon as physically possible i would also like to point out that this ribbon here above where it says up to date will also show you how to get achievements for some of the maps you have installed or any other mods you've downloaded that have custom achievements so for instance you saw last week I did a video on kino de mine totem this is where you can check if you've got any of the achievements now because i've uninstalled my super blt it's forgotten that i've got these mod achievements already earned so if you do uninstall your modding files and reinstall them you may find you have to get the achievements again it is a bit sucky but that's just the way it is with these things so you'll be able to monitor all of that here you can see for two of the maps that i've got installed there are custom achievements and so if you want to go for those you can and that's how you can monitor it if you are playing with the controller like i normally do there is no way to actually click that ribbon so i know that i'm like a one in a million person on pc payday 2 that uses a controller that's only because i play on console as well i've been through this before but if there's anyone else out there who happens to use controller bear in mind you do need to be using keyboard and mouse just to check your achievements here but as a final epilogue to this video if you want to look at how to install any and all mods for payday 2 on mod workshop head over to modworkshop.net and click on the payday 2 icon it will take you over to the payday 2 section of the site because there are actually other games you can get mods for on this website it's just payday 2 is the most prevalent one out of all of them but once you're on the Payday 2 page, you can either see all the categories that the mods are put into, or you can also see the last updated slash published mods available now. So here you can see that Mad Milk was uploaded one minute ago, and you can see Ice Pit was uploaded 40 minutes ago, and so on and so forth. So any mod that gets either uploaded or updated, the most recent will be automatically sorted on this page. You can see what's new immediately. But if you're looking for, for instance, some kind of weapon mod, I'm going to open new tabs here to make it a bit easier for myself. You can go into the weapon section and it will say, okay, what type of mod do you want? You can go in from there. Let's say I'm looking for a modded pistol and it can be like, okay, what do you want from here? I can pick a baby deagle. Let's just say for argument's sake. And we've got a bunch of baby deagle mods. It's so well organized. It makes it very easy to find what you're looking for. And so literally for any category you go into, if you want to go for audio, for masks, for interface, for characters, it's really easy to do so. Or even, let's say, custom heists. So you can click on the categories or you can scroll down again and see the most recent stuff. So get exploring, have a look around and see what mods you can get in your Payday 2 game files. Because there's a lot available. There's far more than I'm even used to. And there's so many fantastic mods available on this site. So get digging, get looking and have a good time. But there you go. That is a full tutorial on how to mod Payday 2 in 2020. If you found this guide useful, please consider giving it a thumbs up. I would find it very, very helpful if you did so to show me you like these kind of tutorials. And make sure that if there's anyone you know who doesn't quite know how to mod Payday 2 yet, throw them this video, show them how to install mods, and they can get going from there. Nice and simple. Like I said, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, and if you are new around here, please feel free to hit that subscribe button because it's quick, it's free, and I'll always love you for doing so. And if you fancy supporting me over on the Patreon page, as I always say, donations are never expected, but are always appreciated. And if you do fancy supporting the channel a bit more than you already do just from watching the content, liking, subscribing, commenting, all that stuff, then head over to the link in the description or on the top right corner of the screen now. Check it out and see if maybe you want to pledge your support. But either way, thank you all very much for watching. I will see you all next week with a brand new video. Until then, look after yourselves, stay safe, and I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching, everyone.